Okay, alrighty, so right, so um, we're gonna make a mythical beast here, and I've got uh, a horse head. That's my dog Steve. Okay, so I got this thing just to fit Steve as as good as I could. So uh, now, and you can see over here the layers. Right there's the background layer. Uh huh. And then that's the horse layer up there. We can hide them so you can see which is where. Okay, so let's see. I know what we'll do. How about. I'm going to put a shark fin. Let's see. That's maybe a good one. I'm going to get one sideways that like shows the whole thing. Uh, there we go. And you got to pay attention to the numbers down here. That's 10, 24, 682. That's a good size. Anything's over a thousand. So to get that picture, got to click on it. And then you got to find it on the site. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And I'm not in a Chromebook, so it's not going to go to um, my Google Drive, but you want to make sure it goes to your Google Drive. And I'm going to rename it. I like doing that. Shark. And I can go back here. And then open that file or image, open image. And now where did it go? There we go. And remember, this is selection tool practice. So I'm going to start there. But that's not so good. I have that little extra bit there. So I'm going to do Command Z. I'm going to undo that. And where's the zoom tool? There we go. I'm going to zoom in so I can see my selection better. There we go. Okay, so now I want to make take my time and make sure I do a real good job and not get any of the extra stuff as much as possible. And you can cut it out. You can't erase extra stuff. I got a little bit there, and that should be okay. So I'm gonna go to edit and copy that little bit and go over here and zoom in on Steve and paste. There we go. Make that quite a bit bigger. But that's smaller than the picture of Steve, so don't want to stretch it out to be too big. There we go. Okay, and watch this. This this has an eraser tool, I think. Yeah. So if I zoom in here, I can take the eraser tool. No, not that one. And erase some. Oops, I erased Steve. I was on the wrong layer. Let's undo that. Command Z, Control Z. Um, and it's that layer. That's what I want to be on to erase.
There we go. And then remember I cut off a little bit of the water in that picture so I can zoom way in, get the eraser again, and get rid of all that extra stuff. Looks like I have some of the horse stuff back here too. Yeah. Okay. So let's zoom back out. Alrighty, so we got a, a horse, a shark fin. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> wings. Let's try wings. Okay. How about hawk wings? Okay. Uh, <laughs> hmm. There we go. See, you know, when you have these uh, squares, that means that the background is already transparent and you don't need to do any cutting or pasting. Uh-oh. May have to pay for this. That's zipped up. Okay. Let's go back here and we can open that file. So this, I can just use the marquee, which is like a rectangle. And I'm going to just do this. Check it out how easy that is. Remember, that's because these little squares mean that it's transparent, so we can already see through it. Copy and go back to Steve here. and paste. Hmm. That might look better behind. Watch this. I'm going to take the this is going to look better behind the shark fin. So I'm going to take that layer and watch that. See? Put that right on top. So now, this zoom on my particular browser gets really funky. So there we go. No. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in with the zoom tool instead of the mouse. Let's see if we move the shark fin over here and put that one there maybe we'll just make it smaller that might help
what if we did this? If we flipped it. Here we go. If we flip it horizontally. Ooh, I remember this doesn't have to make sense. <clears throat> this has to look like a weird combination. So what if we did that sort of a headdress kind of thing? And put that on the very top. Okay, and I'm going to put the horse head on top of that wing, so now it's behind it. There we go. So basically, you'll keep doing that. I don't want to bore you, but that's kind of what you're going to do um, until you have five different parts. And I think what I might do is try to find maybe a human hand to replace her feet, something like that. Still not sure I like that wing up there. Maybe that's better. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that. Hopefully that'll help things uh, to make more sense. Remember when you're done, you want to go to File and Save. You'll save it to your computer. I'll always give it a good name so you know how to how to find it. So I'm gonna call this Steve. Oops. Steve Beast. And then download it. And there we go. Okay, hopefully that'll make things make more sense. And um, if it doesn't, you have more questions, let me know.